This video has been converted into animation with a free AI tool. And you're probably thinking this has been done by a Rare Fusion, but didn't because Rare Fusion requires a high-end GPU and also a lot of technical skills. So in this video, I'm gonna share our alternative of the Rare Fusion for free. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. Okay, so this AI tool is called the Motion and this is their website. Uh, I will also leave the link in the description below and currently it doesn't work on a website. You have to join their Discord server and for that simply click on this free to use in Discord and you guys will be redirected to their Discord server. So once we are on their Discord server, on the left side, you can see we have different servers here. We have almost 10 servers. You can select any one of them. I'm going to go with the fourth one. And these are some videos that people have already generated using this AI tool. And to generate our own video, you have to type forward slash and select capture. And now we have to upload our source image that we want to convert into animation. So I will convert this video into animation. Uh, so this is just a simple video where the girl is dancing. So simply select your video and then click on the character. So here you can see we have a list of characters like the cat, groovy, knight, santa, female average, male. But if you want to get the good results, make sure to type in both. So I'm going to type both and select both from here. Next we have the in place. We have two options, true and false. And I think both of them doesn't make any big difference. So you can go with the any one of them. I will go with the true and hit generate. So if you guys don't know, I have already covered two videos on how you guys can convert your simple videos into animations. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to check that out. Okay, so here's the output and now you can see it converted our input video into this 3D model. So here we have two options like the motion, you can download this video into FBX file or you can directly convert this video into anything else. So I'm going to click on the video gen. And this will be using the stable video. And now we have to type a prompt. So I'm going to go with the a girl wearing a skirt and top dancing in a dance studio. And next we have to select the style. So here we have two styles like the digital art and the anime. So to select the digital art, we have to type in zero. That is a default one. And if you want to convert this into anime, you have to type one and this will be converted into anime. So I'm going to generate this video in both of these styles. Uh, okay, so here is the before and after and these are the results from the anime style and it looks really good I think so obviously the person is not exactly matching with the input character, but it looks good and These are the results from the digital art and this one also looks really really good And I think this one looks more attractive than the previous one So your output results always depends on your prompt so you can try changing the prompt with different things Okay, so let's try one more example and this time I'm gonna use this video where a boy is dancing in a hoodie so again, select your video and in the character section, we have a lot of characters, but this time I'm going to go with the male average and hit generate. So here we have a 3D pose of the same character and I think this one looks more satisfying than the previous one. So again, click on the video generation and type in your prompt like a man wearing a black suit dancing in a party and the style will be digital art and hit submit. Okay, so here's the before and after and now look at that the scene has been totally changed into the party location and this one actually looks really really good and if you guys want to match the face with our input video you can try the face wrapping technique. So that's how you guys can convert your simple videos into animation without any GPU and without any cost because this tool is totally free to use right now. So that's it from this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you guys did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.